It may be Blue Monday, but it's a beautiful day here in Brooklyn. And just look at the sunset. And guess what? It's past four o'clock. It's time to cheer up. Have yourself a drink because it's officially happy hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks, they closed slightly lower on Monday with the S&P 500 extending its losses into a third session as mixed economic data put investors in a cautious mode. The Dow Jones Industrial Average on the downside with Microsoft leading laggards. The S&P 500 also declining with materials and consumer discretionaries the hardest hit. At the Nasdaq, that fell for a third straight session. Let's now take a look to see how the markets closed out this beautiful day. In other markets, the cost of crude oil falling again with oil futures for February delivery down 53 cents to 93.43 a barrel, while gold futures for February delivery, they fell 60 cents or 0.1% to settle in at $1,238 an ounce. Over on the economic front, the Institute for Supply Management's non-manufacturing index came in at 53 in December. This versus expectations that the reading would climb to 54.6 from 53.9 the month before. And the services report was also offset by factory orders, which reported new orders for U.S. factory goods rebounding in November by 1.8%. And on the corporate front, shares of JetBlue Airways falling more than 4% after the company said it would temporarily halt service in Boston and in the three New York regional airports as it contends with weather-related disruptions. Whole Foods market declined after Longbow Research said the company's profit margin could decline as it hikes discounts to compete with its rivals. And Men's Warehouse raised its offer for Joseph A. Bank. This just days after Joseph A. Bank increased its buyout defenses. So there it is. Have yourself a drink. Breathe and shake it out. It's a little windy outside, but it's not bad because the day is officially over. And I will see you guys all tomorrow morning. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.